how widely anticipated was the Fed minutes? I mean, what could they really tell us about the global economy that we as market participants and observers don't already know? Yeah, it's interesting because you make the point that the minutes don't result in much price action subsequently. I think that's because they're typically very measured. Um, I mean, these guys know that what they say is going to be repeated afterwards. So they're very careful about, about what they say. And the whole purpose of the minutes really is to give a very rounded viewpoint as to where the Fed mindset is. So obviously they, they, they deliver rates, they have verbal communication, but the minutes are a very neutral, rounded way to, to get a message out there and to throw in some nuances if necessary. So I'm not surprised that they don't typically have big uh, market reactions afterwards. At the moment, there's, it seems as though many Fed officials are citing inflation in justifying the September rate cut the lack thereof at the moment. This is something that you and your ING uh, research are really starting to point out that what inflation is telling us and really what the rates market is telling us about the outlook for inflation and growth is pretty poor, right? It is. First of all, the, the inflation discount from a market perspective is incredible. Mm-hmm. So if you look at the 10-year the break-even using inflation-linked securities, uh, it's 1.5%. So in other words, the market is discounting inflation of 1.5% or less over the next 10 years. Really benign. See a 2% target. Exactly, exactly. But at the same time, if you look at a very narrow measure of Walmart price inflation, so we look at food items, it's running at 5%. Mm. So there is pressure on real income coming from real prices that are really important like food prices. The overall inflation number is, is a complex combination which includes things like imputed rent, etc. But there's no doubt the, the, the market discount is exceptionally benign and it gives the Fed every excuse to cut.